everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Thule Exporter Pro Truck Bed Ladder Rack. This ladder rack can be used in conjunction with your Toyota Tacoma's truck rails. So that's because this has a specific clamp that fits into the rails and that way you can get to that secure fit, you can lock things tight without having to get an unapproved adapter. This is going to be an adjustable height ladder rack, meaning you can move this up and down to match either your roof rack or whatever cargo needs clearing inside of your truck bed. That way it's more accessible and versatile. This utilizes a quick dial system. So rather than working with wrenches and bolts, you just turn this dial on both sides and then you can adjust your rack up and down. There are 32 height settings. You can go as high as 30 inches off of your truck bed rail. Now for how low you can go does depend on your truck. This is going to work with your short bed because of that adjustability. It can move up and down, but it can also move as forward or as backward as you need it to. Once you do get it secure, it has a 450 pound weight capacity. It is made of aluminum, which keeps the rack kind of light while having that strength. I do like the look though. You have this black powder coat finish, which keeps it nice and clean looking. You also have these optional wind strips to add to the aerodynamicness of this ladder rack. Notice the shape of the ladder rack where it's tapered in the front and it's flatter at the end. This is to mimic the aero bars that you find commonly on your roof rack to reduce wind drag and wind noise. And if you want to use T-Track mounted accessories, you lift up on these wind strips to get access to them. Now you do have to cut up the wind strips to fit around those accessories and those load stops though. So I personally recommend grabbing an extra batch of these for that. Now getting access to that T-Track channel might take a little bit of time though. So you do have little Allen keys included with your ladder rack and that way you can access the T-Track channel by undoing the end cap. The load stops are included. So you have a bolt, you have a washer, and then you have a square nut. So you slide the load stop through, you slide that bolt through as well, getting some space there, and then you can secure it with this knob. And depending on what cargo you're carrying, you can make this versatile too. So you can slide this back and forth to secure the cargoes a different length. You can use this as an anchor point. Let's say you have a ratchet strap with a hook that can fit in through there. You can run your strap through the load stop instead. It's all up to you. So if you need to carry longer items that don't exactly fit in your truck bed, you can then put the longer item like a canoe or a long ladder onto your ladder rack. There we go. And then just adjust accordingly. And if you do not already have straps, we have a bunch of strap options here at eTrailer, whether it's ratchet straps for your ladder racks, cam buckle straps for your kayaks and canoes. You can find a bunch of different sets or pairs. I highly recommend getting them added on to your ladder rack. For your crossbar length, this is going to be 72 inches long and that will help you figure out if you have enough space for a tent plus a bike rack, probably not, or kayaks and a ladder, for sure. Now you do have to make sure though that they can fit around the crossbar when clamping down. The width of the bar is going to be three and a half inches wide and then the height of the bar is going to be one and a half inches tall. So most clamps might not be able to fit around and that's when I recommend getting an adapter for those situations so you can mount them to the T-Tracks instead. So some personal thoughts on this ladder rack is it really does depend on what type of cargo you're carrying around. Like are you more sporty or more utility? Because if you're looking for a utility ladder rack, meaning something more focused on carrying ladders and heavy stuff, this has the ability to do so, but with how easy it is to adjust, I am not as big of a fan of how easy it is to adjust and like how much more wobble there is with this compared to your more fixed ladder racks. But on the other hand, I'm also maybe just not that strong enough to super tighten down that dial to get rid of that wobble. So that is up to you to decide. 
On the other hand, I really like the ability to carry around kayaks, ladders, bike racks. If I want to make it easier to load, I just bring it down. If I want to get past my cab, I just raise it up and there's not that much process involved to do so. So hopefully this video helped you out with seeing what the process is like, is that a process you're willing to do, and if this will work for what cargo you are carrying. And let's take a look at some comparisons for different situations. So let's say you're looking for a more utility ladder rack. This might not have enough weight capacity for you. You want something that's more heavy duty. Take a look at the Thule Track 1 ladder rack. That does have different options for if you have a toolbox, you need more weight, if you need a fixed ladder rack, those you can find here at eTrailer. Another option would be, let's say you're more sporty and you want something that is durable, lockable, but also works with those sporty accessories like rooftop tents and kayaks. You might be looking for the Yakima Overhaul instead. That one is also an adjustable roof rack that in my opinion has a nicer look to it. It's also a more premium rack at a more premium price. So definitely a different type of Tacoma or truck owner for that. And if you want something that's middle of the road, has adjustability, can carry ladders as well as kayaks, then this is gonna be the one for you, the Thule Exporter Pro.